all right bro i live first things first i know you see it i got a new mic i'm happy i had to i had to go ahead and set this up and everything before i recorded my next video because i just wanted it to sound that much more crispy crispy as my hairline crispy as my fave that all shout out to my barber art cuz yeah all on on everything but um today i wanted to look at because last video i talked about how interesting the internet was considering people think that you could throw money at girls and that you're gonna get their attention from it which is the reason why you got the girls on of feasting without having to really even you don't even got to get naked no more it's irrelevant now you could just get money because people are obsessed with the idea of having a girl just pay attention to him write a message to him like that's enough for them to break their bread they gave nico a little tw tw two million dollars they gave bad baby 50 million dollars on her 18th birthday that means more than it means more I, you know what I mean? it means more than what i'm saying obviously i mean these dudes were plotting on her since she was 15 there's no doubt about that but that's not what we're here to talk about today today we're here to talk about once again mr walter fresh himself but not in the context that you're thinking we the story already came around it's already over we already understand what happened we know that he was a sugar daddy and that was how he gave it up he got exposed him and myron both got exposed i mean bro come on now they're inexperienced and now that we know that watching this video was even more hilarious so in this video he decided to tell a cap story about how he met an nba player and all of a sudden after he met the nba player the nba player said oh we got mutual followers with a couple girls i used to date come to my mansion party and i'll put you on some box and obviously he had he, he said oh yeah like we, we, it's all good blah 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 and all and, and he's about to tell his cap story and i'm about to just break it down so on that note let's get into it bro and ceo and today we're gonna talk about all my w's stay tuned for it And it's funny to me, bro. It's right, like, so you heard my L's. A W for him is getting some box. Maybe, maybe doubling, tripling back, backshotting some box for once. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a W for you. It's just maybe, you know what I mean? Allegedly delivering some back shots behind another man's dis discretion. You know what I'm saying? He, he put you on and you humbly obliged and took that from and took and took some box that was basically served to you on a silver platter. How does this show Riz? How does this show value? Well, let's let him explain. Marrying a single mom, getting left out in the cold, basically in the car, never came downstairs. But today we're gonna talk about my W in terms of having three women in one day. Now it sounds crazy, right? But I was kind of foreign to this idea of having multiple girls. The only people that this sounds crazy to are virgins. Simple. You're talking to the squeakers on the internet, you're talking to the neck beers, the fedoras. You know what I'm saying? The heavy D's, the heavyweight Hanks. You know what I'm saying? You're not talking to the dudes that are, you know what I'm saying? Fresh lineup, crispy lineup, crispy fade, and W Riz. You're not talking to niggas like us. You're talking to squeakers, insecure guys, you know what I mean? Guys with crazy insecurities. Guys that every time their girl gets a text message, they gotta, look, who, who was that? Who was that? Gotta look over her shoulder. You're not talking to regular guys here. You're not talking to guys with any sort of like you said you say high value you know what i'm saying kevin samuels he made the term popular he didn't come up with it but he made the term popular you're talking about supposed high value guys right so how is three girls in a day in a whole 24 hour span possible i'm not going to speak on my escapades but to me i'm hearing that i'm like i've seen i've seen dudes double triple back before bats and deliver back shots uber meets all of that it was a one day because I felt, you know, do the right thing, do the it good thing. It clearly shows his inexperience. Talking to, and that's it. But I met this guy at a pool party. He's an NBA player. I won't say his name for, for some reasons, but, you know, he should be talking Confidentiality, to guy, guy, right? right? Whether he's I'm real or not. Ordering drinks for my friends, and he says, yo, bro, what's a good spot to go party at tonight? And I told him, look, bro, you can go down, down, downtown, you can go to Brickle, Wynwood, doesn't really matter. And it's, you know what's funny? What kind of NBA player is going to ask some Randy on the street, hey, man, where the party's at? Like, we in high school. Hey, what's the move, bro? Like, what's the move, bro? Like, what we on, bro? Like, this nigga might as well put post on his Facebook Facebook wall to be honest and rate, bro. Like, what type of corny ass shit is that? You talking about a, a nigga with a who's an NBA player with M's who can literally summon anything he needs, literally with a with the snap of a finger. That's the type of money we're talking about. They make real money in the NBA now. Even bench players are making ten million dollars a year. You telling me a nigga like him asked a Randy on the street, hey man? 
Where, what's the move, bro? Like, what we on? Even that, it just like, I, it's just so many details that we see right through. I'm going to uh, downtown because it's a really good spot. And then he's like, yo, bro, are you on Instagram? I was like, perfect. Yeah, I am. So I get And like Instagram. these NBA players got security bit, and entourages. Oh, said, like, come on, bro. You know this chick? So he pulls up this, this girl's profile because you can see who's following some Wait, of these what he from like, the following list. Oh, okay. clown. Like, yeah, I know her, bro. I used to see who's following some of the, they just added from like the following list. I was like, yeah, well, he followed me. He said, wait, you know this chick? So he pulls up this, this girl's profile because you can see who's following some of the, they just added from like the. Bro. So you telling me, and I'm going to assume he's a decent NBA player because he knew him. I'm assuming this guy is not a fan of basketball. He's not a hooper. He doesn't look like a hooper. Look at his player build. Short, stubby, short stack of pancakes type dude. Definitely got a cut. You know what I'm saying? He may, he, he doesn't look like he's in the best shape of his life. Probably got a semi-colorful basket, Nabisco's, Oreos, you know what I'm saying? An occasional, an occasional cool cut of, of beef in there, you know, maybe some lean beef. He might be the type of dude, eat some junk food and drink a water bottle, think he's doing something. One of them type dudes. So this dude had to be an NBA player of some notoriety. Plus we're in Miami, so, you know, probably somebody on the heat or I'm thinking, you know, a regular off night. But why would it, he, how, how, why would he follow you, first of all? Second of all. You telling me that because look 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 if i go to somebody's page right let me go to let me go to drake's page let's go to drake's page right now let's do let's just go to drake's page on instagram i'm not gonna do it on a computer i'm gonna do it on my phone right no no no, no fuck it. i'm gonna do it on a computer fuck i actually pressed that from let's go on instagram or you know what? i'm not signing into my instagram account on the computer but anyways let me go on let me go to drake's page or I guess champagne poppy champagne and then look at look at them look at this look at the mutual followers so focus so that says 106 others right and I'm not saying that the dude who followed him was on that magnitude and if he even followed him I've met NBA players in my, and stuff like that and it was like why would they know like you know what i'm saying unless you're about to like help with something or y'all neighbors maybe but on a random off night on the street he's about to follow randy absolutely not it doesn't make sense branding bro branding but you telling me if it, if it my, that should just said 100 and whatever whatever followers so all of a sudden he's saying he looked at that and and, and the dude just ra happened to see a girl that he messed with and then brought it up no nba players putting himself in a position to be exposed like this like you are literally the way you're making up with this video could have been the exact same way that anybody would have been like yo he was messing with my girl and blah blah, blah and just that's instant free clout like these dudes are just so corny and clout hungry bro it's really a shame i'm not hey, going i told him look bro you can go down, down downtown you can go to oh yeah no, we don't care about that this girl's profile because you can see who's following somebody they just added from like the following list i was like yeah i know her bro i used to like do her back in the day he's like damn that's my shorty want to come in town so and doing her back in the day is crazy bro like he's still talking like his older brother gives him tips about how to talk to girls and he's like 40s 40 years old bro like this dude is 30 some years old talking like doing her back in the day you know what i mean like he's this dude is just clearly cap i could literally point these out all day i'm gonna all right i'm gonna let him speak i'm gonna let him speak so he's like yo dude you know what i'm having a mansion party like uh the next day come through i got you all this time you know we linked up the same night at the party spot nigga went from asking where the party's at to having a mansion party enough, tomorrow we did it the same girl like bro which one is like, it bro bunch of them. it was crazy you know like we always say me and myron a lot of these girls share the same high value men and they're running around in the same circles right i'm at his mansion party right there's like 40 girls and like five guys in my head i'm like yo real talk this is yo crazy. let me let me look something up real quick because this is an NBA player's mansion party and there's only 45 people. Man. I'm gonna just look up. I'm gonna just look up a P. Diddy party. I'm gonna just look up a mansion party. We're doing this right now. I don't care. Fuck. Can I even find a mansion party video? Fuck it. The greatest don't know who you are, brother, but we finna check this out. We don't know who that is. Is that Aiden Ross? Bro, this is the Clout House Mansion Party. We don't even know these niggas. And these niggas got 
oh, yeah, at least 200 people. You're telling me this nigga went to a party and there was 40 dudes, 40 girls and five niggas sitting around like this. And it was just 40 girls just... They was just sitting around just... Like, you're a bot bro you're cat i'm sorry girls compared to guys 45 so, people at a mansion party he says to me yo come through bro you no know, so i, I guess that does make sense three that's three that why he want? asked him where the, where the party's at because he was fucking lame I was like three that i want like this is like a buffet shoot i'll take it buffet so I was like, yo i like her her and her he, he goes tossing him calls him over and i kid you not i got a bedroom for you over here do your thing i'm like what the heck is it that easy <laughs> There's just no way. Like, I'm cringing to the max right now, bro. A buffet. I have a bed for you over here, bro. Like, go ahead, bro. And then it's like, I, bro, you know what's crazy? I've seen niggas literally have the box just slapped in their lap and they were so cornballed out. They just was like sitting there just sitting on their hands and shit like that. This dude is definitely not about to dip. I could literally sit up here and, and take a girl who's butt ass and, walk and, and be like, hey, walk up to this man. Literally, if he says to smash, smash. And he'll literally probably, and I guarantee you, this dude is so corny. He would literally sit there and be like, what are you doing? Like, what? Like, what? Like, <laughs> like giggling and shit, like a little goofball, like a goober, like a kookly goofball, bro. This story is so kookly and capped out, like, all right, B is a nerd. That's just that's just that's all it is. You know what I mean? He's definitely not cut out like this. And I'm using this video to explain that these are the type of dudes that think that girls only care about blue checks and high follower counts. Fake rented Lambos. He's the type. Of, he 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 made a video about you know what I'm saying renting a Lambo and he had all type of fake fake fakeness going on and like literally, bro. Like look at how corny this was. And I'm, I'm reacting to another reaction video right now, literally. I'm not gonna lie. But we doing this on the fly. Podcast style, baby. And she walks away. Let's see if she comes back. Look, he tried to get the number. He sit next to that fake Lambo. Look, she came right back. A photo in your car. Like, he paid actresses and all type of deal, man. Appreciate it. And she walks away. Let's see if she comes back. Look, double right back. actress well i mean i know he made these captions but still this guy's game is so hold on bro what do you say i'm really i'm really busy now but yeah i love your cat what about like after work let's go for a ride how about that after work do not be a what about ass nigga when it comes to making plans but um like bro she says no just dust it off man look it's a l just leave it be but anyways he's the type of nigga that thinks shit like this is true in his delusional world he's so cornballed out he can't even probably muster a sentence up to even utter a word to a girl no matter if she's bad ugly you know what i'm saying it don't matter what her player build is he i'm guarantee you he's literally gonna be sitting there spooked can't even speak no matter how much money and blue checks you got you could still be a cornball at the end of the day and don't let this dude make you think that girls only give a fuck about blue checks and clout because at the end of the day those types of chicks that show up on your doorstep none of them are going to be anything like an asset to you they're just going to want to take from you and be a liability so i mean if you if you value liabilities to the point to where you feel like you should get on your grind and go go buy followers and and try to fake a blue check or get a blue check you know what I'm saying? Then that's your prerogative. But let me tell you, ain't gonna be nothing good coming from that. And at the end of the day, it makes so much sense now why his story ended the way it did. Sugar Daddy, he's a sugar daddy, got exposed for being on Sugar Daddy websites while talking about being high value man. He's a lion, he's a lion dude. You know what I'm saying? A cap artist, him and his buddy. And basically it's like just don't fall for the smoke and mirrors. It's not that easy. But with that being said, closing statement, be your best self as a man. Girls don't like us for the for the peacocking and the in the drip and all that. That's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Do that for you. Do that for you because you like you because you got taste and you got style. But at the end of the day, if a girl is dating you, she wants to feel like a girl in a relationship. The minute that you that she decides she got to wear the pants and take over, she's going to treat you like boof. 
she's gonna treat you like you like like you're showing her you want to be treated which is like she's gonna step on you talk crazy to you and you're not gonna be able to do any of the things that you would really like to do in, as a boyfriend in a relationship or a husband or whatever you gonna literally just be like what do i do i don't know what to do and she's gonna end up running off on you i mean it's just like that i'm sorry man be your best selves guys don't fall for the smoke and mirrors people on youtube they're on you they're on the internet for a reason they're not outside in real life i guarantee you they're not and uh when he cuts this internet stuff off he probably goes in his room sits down and just does nothing i mean I, who maybe goes and turns up you know what i'm saying goes and makes some fake stuff happen but these dudes is only for the cameras bro it's not real uh thanks for watching